logging on to OneDrive from a smartphone device. In order to log on to your OneDrive through a smartphone or a tablet, you can do so by downloading the app. On this smartphone, I'm going to click on the App Store. From here, I need to go into Search and then I'm going to type in the name of the app, which is OneDrive. And I can see here a match for OneDrive, so I'm going to click on that. And then it will ask me to sign into iTunes. So I just need to put in my password. And then I press the Get button and Install. This app is free of charge and it will download onto your smartphone. Once this is done, you can then press the Open button and this opens OneDrive for you. Here we can see that a mail account is not set up, so I'm going to press the OK button and I'm going to sign in. In order to sign in to my OneDrive, I will need my Microsoft account. So I'm going to type in my Microsoft account name, which is my email, and then my Microsoft account password. Once this has been entered, I can then press Sign In. The first question you will be asked is whether you want to back up the camera photos. So it will back up full resolution photos and videos automatically to OneDrive. If you want this to happen, you press Turn On or you can press Not Now. I'm going to press Not Now for a moment. We can now see that it's logged me directly into my OneDrive. In my Documents folder, I will see the files that are in there. In my Photos folder, I get to see all images. And so on down through the different folders. Down at the bottom of the app, we see the different sections. I have Files, I have Photos, I have Recent, I have Shared, and I also have setting options. In settings, I can change the camera backup option. Currently, we can see that this is off. If I tap this and switch this to on, it will now allow OneDrive to access my photos and any photos I take with my phone will automatically be transferred or backed up onto my OneDrive. Going back to settings, I can now, for example, return to files. On the top right of this app, I will see three dots. Tapping on these will allow me to go and select an item, sort items, have a look at the items in thumbnail view, or I can tap, for example, add items. When I go to add items, I can create a folder, take a photo or a video, or choose an existing item. So these are the options that I can work on when I'm on the smartphone. The apps that are available for tablets will work in the same way. You simply go to the Play Store or the App Store to download the app and then you log in using your Microsoft account information. Pressing the Home button here brings me back to my phone's main screen.